Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to show you how to root your LG Tribute 5 from Boost Mobile. This may work with other variants, but I'm not sure because I only have the Boost Mobile version. Before we get started, there is a chance that you could break your phone, lose all of your data, start your house on fire. All kinds of crazy stuff can happen when you're rooting a phone. I am not responsible for any of that. By continuing with this tutorial, you agree that I am not responsible for anything that happens to your phone. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. Now I got this phone for $20 at Best Buy. I also had a Best Buy Rewards $5 certificate, so I only paid $16, that's including tax, for the phone. I couldn't pass it up, I had to get it. Now I need to root the phone. I did install Root Checker just to check when we're done that we do have root access. You can get that on Google Play Store, just search for Root Checker. Now this is very simple, pretty straightforward, and you can unroot your phone if you ever want to unroot it. I'm going to open up Chrome, and I am going to search Kingroot. You can also navigate to Kingroot's website by going to https forward slash forward slash kingroot.net. Right here at the bottom, free download. Yes, I would like to download. It's going to start downloading. And it's finished. It's going to tell me that only apps downloaded from Google Play Store can be installed in the current setting. Click the settings icon there. Scroll down until we see unknown sources. Check that. It's just going to warn you that it could damage your phone, lose data, personal stuff. Click OK. Next. Next. Install. It's going to pop another warning up in just a sec. There we go. Installation blocked because this can root your phone. They don't want you to root your stuff. Click right beside more details, the little down arrow. Install anyway. When it's finished installing, go ahead and open the application, King Root. Swipe up, swipe up, click try it. You need to be online while doing this because it needs to check the servers for a root method. Root access is unavailable. Root strategy available. Just try it. Try to root. Now this can take anywhere from 2 to 15 minutes. Let it go. If it doesn't work the first time, reboot your device and try again. I have used Kangaroo on tons of devices and I've never had a problem. You can also install Super User afterwards if you don't want to use the built-in Kangaroo root authenticator. And we were rooted successfully. So that's pretty cool. That's, that's it. I mean, you're rooted now. I'm just going to click my home button and go to Root Checker Basic. Agree. Verify root. It's going to pop another window up. And I'll have to grant root access. Congratulations. Root access is probably installed on this device. And it is installed on this device. If you ever want to uninstall root, um, you can use the King Root app. It's very easy. Open up your application drawer, find King Root. Up in the top corner, these three little dots. General settings. Scroll all the way down, uninstall King Root. Click continue, it will uninstall King Root and your phone will be unrooted. I did this one time. It didn't work the first time. I just force closed the app, reopened it. Uninstalled King Root and it worked perfectly. My phone was unrooted. So that's it, guys. You are now rooted with King Root. 
it's pretty straightforward, it's very simple, and it does allow you to do more things with your device. The main reason I wanted to root this was so I could play some Pokemon Go without having to leave the couch. So my next video coming up, I will show you how to do that. If you guys are into retro gaming, go ahead and check out my channel. I have tons of retro gaming emulation, anywhere from the ZX Spectrum or the ZX Spectrum, all the way up to the Dreamcast. All kinds of games are played. I love shoot 'em up games and side scrolling adventure or fighting games. So I do appreciate you watching. If you could hit that like button and subscribe. And like always, thanks for watching.